what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be talking about the civil war in my kingdom kingdom 1643 but first we have to cheers oh okay uh, it's empty guys everybody go ahead and uh tweet at game fuel tell them to sponsor me i, I ran out of their drink Okay, jokes aside, all the footage in this video comes from the YouTuber named Fleisch. You guys already know Fleisch, right? You know him. If you don't know him, go to his channel. There's a link in the description. Go to his channel. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, if you want to watch this Civil War footage that he did live on his channel, he's a great Rise of Kingdoms YouTuber. Very informative. Great content. Subscribe to him. I watch his videos. You should too. Okay, so I've had people messaging me in-game and on YouTube and comments basically asking me about the Civil War in my kingdom. Why haven't I made a video talking about it? And the reason is because my alliance is not a part of the civil war it's between buns and gotm now of course you know rick's being neutral you could join either side and there's no penalty really i guess um but i haven't fought in the civil war because honestly i don't think that it makes sense to lose troops and lose power in a civil war it, it just for me personally i'm not one of the king I'm, I'm not one of the alliances that are really warring with each other uh i played my part in the last kvk so i'm just like chilling waiting for them to figure out some sort of solution so i just want to be clear that uh, i'm not involved here right okay i'm not involved unless my city is attacked then i am i'm i'm neutral so people are asking right and i and i jumped into fleisch's live stream when when he was talking about the civil war when it first started and i know this video is a bit late but uh, people were asking like why are why what's what is the civil war all about like what's going on right uh, we were imperium just a couple months ago during kvk I've Obviously we lost that kvk so i'm going to give you guys a brief glance at this document that we have here this is an alliance spreadsheet okay a lot of big kingdoms do this they will basically there's a formula that they use to calculate the amount of points that you've earned in a particular kvk and that will kind of give the kingdom an idea of okay who's super active who's contributing the most and then you know when mightiest governors come around you can see like okay well this player had x amount of kills x amount of deaths this much honor you know that person deserves a higher placing ranking in a mightiest governor that's just that's just an example now of course it's good to just keep track of these things regardless but it's also useful for giving out rewards like mightiest governors okay so essentially there's a formula that they use here and this is literally every single uh, player in the kingdom for that kvk right there's a ton of players you can see here obviously we can look for myself right okay and and so what you see here oh my god i lost me already uh you can see the power that i had and the kills that i had pre kvk then you can see oh uh, can you guys hear the sirens i'm making a video don't you know i'm making a video anyway these are my stats okay so kills pre kvk kills post kvk now this is just t4 and t5 right we can also look if you care about the other kills then you could look at those but regardless um i got you know 3.75 million kills in that kvk that's what this box basically represents here then they keep track of the amount of dead troops that you have the amount of honor points that you've accumulated throughout that kvk and ultimately they put this all into a formula and then there's a ranking here okay this is the number of points that you got using the formula that they use and this kind of determines who was most active in this kvk right so this is where the the, the basically the drama started okay because we lost lost kvk and so when you lose you go back into these stats and you can say okay what players are really powerful but didn't really contribute to the kvk right and especially the players that are in the top 300 because if you guys didn't know the top 300 players by power are what are basically used to determine uh, your your overall kingdom power okay that's what determines if you're imperium or not and so players so especially the players in the top 300 that don't contribute that much you know that is essentially what's considered dead weight in a kingdom meaning you're contributing to a, a higher matchmaking when it comes to kvk but you're not actually doing anything in those kvks and so it basically makes it much harder for your your kingdom uh to to win a kvk because you have all these players that maybe aren't pulling their weight right so after kvk was over and the dust was settled and everybody looked back at the spreadsheet and all the data was collected and everything was filled in they went in and they looked and they're like okay well you know this these players in the top 300 didn't really do anything and so they basically sent out a mail to these players and said hey look you know we want you to drop 
drop your power uh, because you didn't do anything in KVK. So message us back. Like that's kind of the deal here. You know, you didn't really do much and you're making it much, much more difficult for us to, you know, do well in KVK. That's the end of that. Some of these players, I believe willingly lower their power. Some of these players did not willingly lower their power. And at the end of the day, then it comes down to the Alliance, right? So your Alliance is responsible for the players within that Alliance. That only makes sense, right? So if the player doesn't listen to the kingdom rules of dropping power when not doing anything in KVK, then it falls on the Alliance. So you have to say, okay, Hey buns or Hey Ricks or Hey GOTM, you know, this, these, this list of players that belongs to your Alliance, you know, didn't really contribute and they didn't drop their power after we asked them to. So we're going to give you some time to, you know, build up your passport pages. You know, um, you can, you can kick them out if you want. Uh, if they don't want to be in this kingdom anymore, that's fine. They can migrate away. Uh, if they choose to stay though, then they will have to drop their power. And if they don't, then it's on you to zero that player, right? Because it's only fair. It's only fair to zero players who are dead weight in the top 300 and who don't want to leave, right? So that happens. Time goes by. Some of the alliances is zero their players that end up not leaving, not logging on, not playing the game and whatever the case is, or they're just stubborn, whatever it is. Right. Um, but the, the, the disagreement came from buns and GOTM, right. And, and again, I'm an outsider here. Okay. I'm making that abundantly clear. I am an outsider. I'm not part of either of these alliances. Okay. But there was a disagreement from buns and GOTM because buns was saying, Hey, GOTM, you didn't zero those players that we asked you to, to remove the dead weight from the kingdom. And GOTM said, Hey, you know, you guys, maybe you zeroed some players, but there's still a lot of players in your Alliance who we feel didn't contribute enough. Right. And so there's, there's this disagreement, they're butting heads. And that's basically where the, uh, the, the civil war started, right? There's the disagreement between both of these, uh, both of these sides, GOTM doesn't want to zero their players because they're, you know, friends with them or they, you know, whatever the case might be, they want to play with those players, whatever it is, right. They don't want to zero the players that didn't contribute and buns, you know, uh, they, they, they feel that they've zeroed the players that were the biggest offenders in that KVK and not contributing. So they're kind of saying like, Hey, you know, you guys are in the wrong and that's basically what it comes down to. Okay. So now you might be wondering, okay, so whose fault is this, right? Who's the bad guy here? And that that's the drama, right? That's the T everybody wants to know. Everyone wants to point fingers at the bad guy, right? That's, that's the, the fun part. Okay. And again, I'm a third party. I am neutral in this. I am not a part of either of the alliances. So whatever the case might be, when the dust settles, the dust settles, but we have data, right? We do have data. And so we can look at that. Let's, let's take a look. Okay. Let's go into the data from KVK three. And this is interesting. You see the total amount of points. Shout out to Rex. We did amazing. You can see the total number of deads from the KVK. Apparently this, uh, Alliance gained troops during KVK. I don't really know. Um, but we can come over here to kills and power pre KVK because that's interesting, right? This will tell you how many kills the Alliance got versus how much power that they had. Okay. And you know, I, 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 I almost feel bad doing this, right? I almost feel bad doing this because you can see here the, the kills, right? And clearly buns and Rick's did the most amount of killing in this KBK. And I know you're probably thinking, well, what if the, what if the other players in the other alliances just joined them temporarily to fight? But we kept track of all that, right? We kept track of all of the players in their respective alliances before all the alliance jumping happens. Everybody knows that in KVK, right? In KVK, you're one whole big kingdom. And if you have to join a different alliance temporarily, you do that, right? So we kept track of all that. So we, we know, right? We know which alliances did what. And so this is what we got, right? We got these two alliances, Buns and Ricks did a lot of the work here, GOTM coming in third. Um, but if you look at the power pre KVK, well, you see the same thing. You see Buns, Ricks and GOTM, but the the power for GOTM is on par with Rick's, right? They're almost the same. I mean, we're talking about, you know, 200 million. It's not that much. So what is, what's, what, what is this, right? What, is, what is this Can, when comparing to power? How does GOTM have so much power, but they have like half the kills that Rick's has and certainly less than buns. And so that's the drama. That's the drama. Um, it looks to me as a neutral party, not involved in the civil war. It looks like GOTM had a lot of powerful players who didn't get as many kills as the other alliances. I mean, that's just the data, right? That's just the data. Just look at it. Just look at it with your eyes. That's what happened, right? That's what happened. So there's people in the kingdom basically saying, you know, Hey, buns is a bunch of bullies. They want to zero people's friends and that's not a good look and whatever. And then there's other people saying, 
hey GOTM wasn't that active during the KVK GOTM didn't fight that much GOTM did this or that and so everyone's kind of pointing fingers calling names or whatever but you know if I'm looking at this as a neutral third party it's just like okay well GOTM had a lot of power where's the kills at where they at no and that's pretty much it that's the civil war in my kingdom right now people are asking me hey Omniarch are you migrating or really what people are saying is hey Omniarch you should migrate um I don't at this point in time i don't have enough passport pages to migrate um i could easily get enough pass pa uh, passport pages to migrate once the next uh, new world bundle resets in a couple of days i also have a bunch of alliance credits i could easily get like 15 or 16 pages just from alliance credits alone so it wouldn't even cost me that much to migrate right now if i wanted to the question is like do i want to migrate like i mean this is still a powerful kingdom right it's still very powerful it's still very organized i think there's a lot to love about this kingdom uh, and if i do decide to, to migrate where would i go like what what i don't know where should i go if i migrate anyway guys if you enjoy this video if you found it uh entertaining or informative or anything like that make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does have helped the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video also don't forget visit flesh's channel in the description below again thank you for the the footage i really appreciate him giving me permission to use that footage in this video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy it then certainly you should go and subscribe to him comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this civil war who who do you think is right who do you think is wrong is is it okay to zero your friends if they didn't contribute or should you always protect them or you know should you zero people who are sort of dead weight in the top 300 i would love to hear your opinions your thoughts in the comment section as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff is always in the description and of course there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks and if you're not playing rise of kingdoms on a bigger screen I think you're at a disadvantage that that's just my that's just me right if your screen is tiny and you can't really see too much i think you're at a disadvantage and blue stacks solves that problem absolutely for free playing it on your pc or your mac so go ahead and click that link give it a try you've got nothing to lose and the game looks gorgeous on a bigger screen with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace